Stockbridge, Massachusetts, May 1st, 1957. Dear Ken, I just want to put down in a letter what I have been feeling so long, and that is how wonderfully cooperative you have been. The encouragement and freedom you give me in my work shows what a great empresario you are. It is great to feel that your art editor is 100% for you and is a real friend. This may sound a bit flowery, but it is completely sincere, and I do want to express my thanks to you. Sincerely, Norman. From a very early age, my father wanted to be an artist. He studied with Arthur Charles in Paris, showed with Matisse and Picasso, but he soon discovered that it was hard to make a living as a fine artist and decided to try commercial art. So he started doing illustrations, and then he went from that into doing caricatures. That was picked up by the Saturday Evening Post and put in weekly. And then from caricatures, he started doing covers for the Saturday Evening Post. One of them was Hitler, was sitting there with a very dejected look, and the maps were all crumbling around him. It was a very popular cover, and because of that, the Saturday Evening Post offered him the job as art director. My father had a real knack for recognizing talent and allowing it to run free. On Norman's initial meeting with my father, he was coming in to give my father four or five different sketches. When my father looked at the sketches, he said, Norman, let's do them all. And Norman was a little taken aback because the previous art director would maybe pick one. Dad realized the kind of talent he was dealing with. Norman and he became really close friends after that. A lot of the covers came from the artists themselves. A lot of the ideas came from letters that people would write in. And my father would take the idea and give it to a couple artists and see who wanted to do it. One of my favorites was the young boy standing on a chair looking at the doctor's diploma while the doctor is preparing a shot. I love the girl with the black eye outside the principal's office. Of course I looked at gossips all the time. There was always an April Fool's cover. There was always a Christmas cover. There was always a Thanksgiving cover, which, again, Norman's famous one. My father liked what he did. He really liked being the catalyst to, to make these covers happen. The post covers were modeled on very real moments, and that's one of the reasons they were so universally accepted. People respond to Norman's paintings because they captured a moment in time that everybody experiences. Everybody goes through discovering there is no Santa Claus. Everybody got shots as a kid. Norman was painting the truth, and I think that's why his paintings will never lose their appeal.